Oh my god, everybody's getting into their swimwear. What's happening? I'm not a fan of that, honestly. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. <gasps> oh my god, hi. Okay, guys, I know we don't have the money, but I bought an axolotl. I hope it's okay. Ooh, he likes it. He likes it. And now I have such a beautiful number. It's like 08059269 at the end. Remember the 69. Welcome to day one of me trying to find a job. Wait, did you think I was gonna say boyfriend? Hold your horses, sweetie. I gotta get on my feet first. I barely have a simoleon to depend on. After I purchased this hideous little starter home, I'm basically bankrupt and I gotta keep my bills in mind, you understand? So a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do and look for a job. I'm thinking of looking into painting again, but I'm not sure, maybe. I mean, it is my best skill, so yeah, I think I might go with painting again as a freelancer, maybe. But tonight we can hopefully celebrate my new job and by celebrate I think you know what that means but hello everybody welcome back to a brand new video today we're gonna be playing love struck part one featuring Bowie if you haven't seen the trailer to this let's play yet I suggest you do it's two minutes long it's not gonna take up your whole day to watch it and I do suggest you do that immediately and I mean right now because you have to it's got some background storytelling in it so yeah if you have watched that trailer, then you can come back to this video. If you do not come back to this video again after watching that freaking trailer, I swear to God, I will find you. And after that, I don't know what will happen, but I will find you. But anyway, so we are on a mission to find a job, of course. We have a little music player over here. I'm not even sure what's playing on there. I can barely hear the music and the sound quality is on medium, I think. But in any case, so let's see if we can maybe find some kind of freelance career for Bowie over here oh it might be a good idea to go on cupid's corner first like i wonder if there's anyone interesting there because you know our girl is looking for love but our girl is looking for a job first so we gotta get that behind our backs oh my gosh this is so cool okay this is the first time i'm actually experiencing cupid's corner and i'm pretty excited anyway i describe myself as creative and loyal oh that's good yeah we are creative i don't think i'm gonna say socially awkward because we are kind of socially awkward but only during the day really alluring uh, alluring sorry um yeah no let's just go with these two um i'm not looking for elders if i'm completely honest and i'm also not looking for adults i want to have a young man by my side as a young woman maybe we can actually update that photo over there oh that's adorable you know maybe she should get into her her sexy wear if you know what i mean her nightclub outfit oh this is so cool i love these poses okay yeah you know what i think that's all right what's next matches hmm oh okay okay so so we can literally just surf through these adorable people that we can meet. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Oh, her last name is Sequoia. That's interesting. Leon. You know, Leon is kind of kind of cute looking. I suppose we can like this sim to add to your save tab. Sure. Okay, okay. I don't know how Tinder works, okay? You know, I, I have no experience whatsoever. But anyway, this guy's pretty cute as well. We can save him too. So, Benny and Leon. Alright, let's maybe add ask Benny to our contacts. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna ask you to create a date right away. I mean, that's a little bit fast for us. But yeah, anyway, I suppose we can get into that freelancing story. Like, how oh, the frick? I forgot. I totally forgot. Okay, hold on to your joysticks. I did not know that you can become a romance consultant. Are you a natural at interpreting feelings? No. A sucker for romance? Yes. And interested in helping others find their happily ever after? Well, other than my own, no. So maybe not. But yeah, I did see that you can become a freelancer simply through the find a job or find a career option so yeah let's do this i'm self-employed uh oh wait this is an agency artist yeah okay there we go freelance artist is there anything else here that i can fill in find a gig a portrait of a politician sure okay let's try it um i don't know if we're gonna give top tier work but uh, i mean we can try study reference images where do we do that okay we can do that on our laptop over here yeah so we are gonna be reading now thus we are having our glasses on i know we changed our whole outfit just to read some 
stuff. Paint the portrait on a sketch pad. Oh my god, we don't have a sketch pad. How much are sketch pads even? You know what? I don't think we can do this yet because we don't have a sketch pad and sketch pads are freaking expensive. So I think we gotta just make money for a bit by painting our own stuff. So yeah, in our bio, it does say that we are actually very good in painting. And by bio, I mean the trailer, which you should go watch, says that she is very good at painting. It's one thing she is very good at. But, you know, starting from the bottom and going up is the way to go. Painting is something she's good at. She just doesn't have the skills in it yet. I don't know if that makes any sense, you know, but I don't give a shit. Oh, the leg is gone. I'm so happy. You know, I haven't really checked out this world as much yet. Like, it's just actually pretty nice. Um, I, I, th I thought I saw a hotel somewhere. I think, yeah, it's this building over here. So apparently you can rent a room over here, which is pretty cool. This is a lounge. All right. I think I'm thinking of bulldozing this and changing it into a home lot, you know, maybe build something like this over here, maybe, you know, three apartment building or something. But that's only because this world has so little lots to work with. That's why I really want to do that. You know, this house, when she doesn't live here anymore, I might convert this also into some kind of apartment building. All right, so we can sell that for 139. Beautiful. Well, maybe we can do another one. Pop art. Yay. Um, that's too large one. It's gonna take all of our money, but that's okay. All right, so this basically does mean that we got the job and that means we can go out to a club tonight. Oh, what's this? It's an actual car? Hey, yeah, we met him in the bar during the trailer, but I'm not gonna hang out with him, at least not during the day. This car is so Max's match. For one minute, I thought Marcus Flex would actually climb into this car. Like, if they made cars, imagine them actually looking like this. I mean, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, just tell me the windows will at least be sheer by the time we do get cars. This car is actually pretty cute. I wonder if there's more in this world that we can like check out. Oh, here are some more. Okay, these two I know are debug cars, but that one is the same as the last one. Oh, and here's another one. So I think these are like taxis. I mean, it has that thingy on top of the roof, so it might be taxis. I don't know. I really don't know. And here's another one. My God. <laughs> okay, me freaking out over cars that we cannot drive at all. We're not that lucky yet. I think I'm gonna do another pop art painting and then see what we can maybe add to our house like we are not really happy about this house like i personally think it's an adorable little house i mean it's a boring starter box but we can like i said either bulldoze this to make a apartment you know looking like these awesome buildings over here or we can just expand this house like let me know what you guys think on that idea like should i expand it into a three or four unit apartment or should i just expand it as a house you know as it is on the lot. I don't know. You let me know. Because I'm indecisive. But I am going to do that to a few of the other lots, you know? But okay, this episode is not about me. This episode is about Bowie. Well, this let's play is about Bowie. All right, so yeah. I don't think there's anything else we can do on this laptop in terms of our work. So far, we just have to make some money for ourselves in order to actually pay the bills, maybe. What do you want, Jeff? I haven't met you yet, though, but... Oh, I didn't even read what that was. I'm so sorry. Fair enough. I have to get back to running social bunny anyways. Oh, he was asking some thing on cupid's corner i did not really see what that was just now but i don't give a shit anyway 323 is our bulls i'm pretty sure we can pay it now yeah brilliant let's pay the bulls there and after that our money is kaput brilliant it's 4 p.m i don't think it's dark enough to go out yet but we can wait a little bit i like this fan this is so cool i haven't really checked out all of the items of this packet i mean i have seen videos on it i usually run to the legacy's channel to check out her review of the items but i haven't really checked them out myself yet and in terms of gameplay i ran to dr gluon he is one of my freaking most favorite youtubers ever you should totally go and subscribe to dr gluon he's incredible and funny and such an inspiration but yeah i for gameplay i i mostly go to dr gluon because he just makes everything super funny and of course fake gamer girl as well oh hi hey bowie you're so notorious no no i'm still a shy girl remember that please anyway i think we can actually go out it's 5 p.m so she has two outgoing outfits 
outfits, which is this one, which is the one you saw in the trailer. I mean, if you didn't see it, god damn it, just go watch it already, all right? And this one is a new outfit. I think I'm actually gonna go with this outfit. It's kind of, well, sexy. It's the only time that she's actually, you know, outgoing, not shy. It's when the day turns to night, you know, when she gets into that vibe. Anyway, so this is the beautiful new world for those who have not seen it yet. I'm not that happy about it because, I mean, we have two paint houses over here i was hoping for more and that's why i want to build more apartments and stuff or at least maybe build a paint house that looks like this but it has a little house at the very top or something i don't know if i'll be able to execute that but we'll see we'll see you know we're traveling alone of course because i don't really know you guys and by that i meant the guys on the um panel thingy that could indicate who you could have brought with you to the lot yeah you know what i mean i always over explain myself sometimes like it's actually so freaking annoying <laughs> we need to pee wow beautiful okay let's go into the piss pot area all right so hmm. you know for interest sake i gotta say something the very first time that i started playing the sims 4 it was i don't know probably seven eight years ago i cannot remember exactly how many years back the sims 4 came out but anyway so my first date used to be this guy over here i don't know why like he was literally the to go to some in terms of any relationships like um this joe quinn lachine Le yeah i don't know why he was just my first go to sim i don't know about you guys let me know who your go to sim was in the beginning in terms of romance yeah i'm not really into girls but hi how are you doing i mean we could be friends i want to definitely meet this dude um as or just be friends um we don't oh wait we danced with him a little bit but you guys didn't see that um let's introduce ourselves in a flirty way baby let's just flirt because that's what we do at night you're looking pretty cool buddy hey you look so familiar is he supposed to be a young adult i swear he was a teen at some point but hey let's dance with him we're just dancing with everybody meeting everybody i haven't met you yet have i hi oh we're getting hungry maybe it's a good idea to grab some chips you know it's free it's handy because we don't really have much money what's this oh it's a, it's a light i love this wallpaper though that is that's gorgeous and this it kind of looks like a print of some sort you know like a crocodile skin i don't know hopefully it's faux pretty sure it's faux i think it's faux yeah it doesn't matter where am i bobbing to the whole time what is this a parking thingy oh that's cool uh so that's a gym oh this gym is actually pretty cool looking how did they do this with the roofs yeah of course they use the roofs dummy like how else this is the sims after all it's pretty legit looking i like that i actually don't want to bulldoze this gym to build an apartment here or at least my own rendition of a penthouse but i think i might move this gym to build a penthouse here because i don't want to bulldoze this gym here yeah, maybe we can actually save up money to live in a paint house like would you we actually do that you know move into one of these paint houses oh we can view this fountain that's cool <laughs> This is all about her, you know. Is she maybe gonna save up to live in this paint house? I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god, look how dirty this bar is. Hey, barman, your your bar is dirty. Clean your freaking bar. Um, any cute guys around, maybe? You know, maybe I should download a few sims of the gallery. Have any of you guys made any cute looking guys for us to play with? Hmm? It'd also be cool to have, you know, the man, whoever the man is gonna be eventually, to also roam in the world, but maybe not now. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're eventually gonna meet the guy, but even I don't know who that's gonna be, you know, like, that's the surprise of everything. It might be one of these guys in the bar, like, we don't know. But okay, single Pringle, let's get into the mingle. Um, hi, so how are you? Um, this, this is a seductive dance, you know, I really enjoy this freaking weird ass seductive dance like this is pretty cool i love this little feature and i love 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 the fact that you can actually go to sleep cuddling with a partner oh yeah you go girl Ooh, you go boy look at him move those hips that are non-existent Ooh, girl you look hot yeah you know she she is very skinny and because she's so skinny she feels she is very unattractive and the fact that she has well those beautiful freckles over there but i don't think she finds them beautiful and we have a fucking ghost in here which is interesting hey 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 girl <gasps> we know this girl well not us but this is the woman who married the other woman in the world of you know love and <laughs> I, I might not be making sense but you know what i mean right she used to be that woman's wife right they're old they're elders so it makes sense that she died did you at least have a happy death it seems so because you're green oh <gasps> 
I knew I recognized this face anywhere. Um, this is my sim self, by the way. Hi. Oh, wait, shit. Romantic satisfaction begins. Bowie and Joe can have a strong romantic relationship and will now <gasps> each have independent romance. Romantic satisfaction levels. Cool. Cooly wooly wooly lessons. No, oh my god, I'm not gonna read all of this. Ah, uh, no, it's alright. It's absolutely alright. Um, where's Jokin? Jokin! Hey, boy. Oh, hey! Oh, wait, he's gay, right? I'm sorry if that seemed inappropriate to say, but yeah, I think he's into guys, or they are into guys, I don't know. But let's maybe, hmm, as a stargaze, I know this is kind of childish to do at a club, but I would like to stargaze with this dude. I mean, he is a... Oh, you're leaving? Okay, bye, bitch. See you again, maybe. Anyway, that means we can go on to someone else, maybe. Yeah, I know she seems like a player, all right? But, I mean, she's not dating anybody, is she? No, so she's not a player. Woman, your hair is in my way, but okay. Hello. I know he's, you know, not interested in women, but... I, I don't know. <laughs> By the way, you guys don't even know what our turn-ons and turn-offs are, do you? No, you don't. Um, where the freak do you look at those? Did you like it though? Good. Um, so we are into men. We are exploring romantically. We get jealous when our partner hoo-hoos with someone else. We have romantic boundaries, of course. And we get triggered when our partner engages with another sim. Even if it is in a non-physical romantic way. Which is, yeah, many girls are like that actually. You don't need to be romantic with someone in order to, you know, get triggered somehow. Here is another one. Physical romance. The sim will have a jealous reaction if they see a romantic partner engage in physical romance. So, you know, that is the opposite to that, basically. But okay, so hey, do you, let's ask this guy if he's single. Like, I know he's not, but it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Maybe we could do a seductive dance with him. No? Oh, I think it's because he's married, Bowie. Look at that. <laughs> The guy has a band on. He's married. Damn it, and he's so... He's so gorgeous. This guy, you know, he's kind of not attractive at all. <laughs> I don't like him at all. Like, there's something about his purple eyes that puts me off. Hey, can I see your face? Oh, <laughs> you're kind of cute though. The thing is, we, we mingle with everybody, don't we? Say hi. What are you on about? What's wrong? You're tired? Too many sims? Yeah, we, we are a little bit socially awkward. <laughs> But it's okay. We're just gonna ignore that trait for the night time. Am I right? Um, well, it seems like everybody is going home, so we shall go as well. Okay, not everybody's going home, but you know, it's just our excuse to get out of there. Because we're tired. Maybe Jokin could come with us. <laughs> he never know. Although he went home early, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. It was actually strange not seeing Mr. Lothario in that club. But I don't know if we're gonna stoop that low in terms of actually, you know, flirting with him as well. Because flirting with Dawn is stooping low, if I have to be honest. So, hey, this is Stargaze. I don't know why I want to Stargaze so badly, but I really want to, you know. So, Joquin, um, you just rejected that? Such an ass. Share my personality quirks. Sure. You know, I'm only this outgoing during the night, so we gotta take advantage. It's two in the morning, by the way. So he is aware of our personality quirks. That's beautiful. And apparently, we are compatible. So, would you like to see my bedroom? Like, yeah, this is how we do it. This is how we're gonna be able to find our right man. Um, yeah, I know that sounds bad in the way I just put it. But this is how we're gonna find our man, am I right? Yeah, sure, I'm pretty sure that's how we're gonna find our man. But anyway, let's maybe exchange numbers. Don't tell him you hate him, girl. He's adorable. And he's as skinny as you are. You're a perfect match. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ask about romantic boundaries. Ooh, he likes it, he likes it. And I will have such a beautiful number. It's like 0805 929 60. At the end, remember the 69 though, it's very important. Um, <laughs> non physical romance will trigger jealousy, okay? Same as I, okay? This guy is actually pretty much like us. So, how are you doing? You know, um, compliment your appearance, um, ask you how you are, ask who you are because I don't really know you. Bowie, are you freaking kidding me right now, woman? No. Where are you going, joking? Um, can we can we do this? Though? Can we like relax and cuddle? You know, fall asleep cuddling. I don't know. Let's pillow fight. Screw the sleeping on the pavement, girl, and go pillow fart. I really want to see them pillow fight. I haven't seen that interaction in a while. And to be honest, it's kind of a turn on to pillow fight, isn't it? I don't know. 
Maybe we'll just make them playful, but you know that's good enough. And smack her, and smack him, and smack her, and then you woohoo. You know, maybe Jokun can turn out to be one of those guys that doesn't get romantically involved with us, but he turns out to be one of our best friends. Like, yeah, we can be a little bit romantically attracted to each other, but the thing is, like, what if? He was just a very close friend of ours. Like, could that be an option? I don't know. Um, you know what, Jokun? You can actually go home. We gotta sleep anyway. <laughs> Thank you for joining us tonight. <laughs> the pillow fighting and not any other bed-related activities, sadly. But, um, yeah, like I said, maybe he can be our best friend or something. <gasps> oh my god, look at the time we're going to bed. 8 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful. Mitchell clan? No. Okay, guys, I know we don't have the money. But I bought an axolotl. I hope it's okay. You know, this little bug is extremely adorable and you know what i'm gonna keep him i know our money is on 25 bucks now but that's okay it's okay we'll make more god i wish i could do face cam again oh i mean i will do it again in the future but i just can't now okay <laughs> a little bit impossible oh hunger and bladder hmm. okay girl you really need to take a whiz benny of course i will go out on a date with you i mean we 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 got to know you over cupid's corner so of course um are we gonna go on a date now is he gonna come over to us or are we supposed to plan that date with him uh we haven't met you in person do we have yes we do benny um let's create a date okay although he asked us now we're asking him but you know that's that's all right it's the first step into getting to know someone new nightclub no i want to go to the yeah this one the lounge yeah let's go to the lounge there must be some sort of food options there definitely drinks definitely dancing so yeah <coughs> i'm so fucking sorry there's a celebrity making a rare appearance at the lounge i don't care if it's not us oh it's judith ward hey benny what's that spot <laughs> be weird from the bed hi hey benny how are you doing no that wasn't supposed to be a rude interaction asshole what benny has left the date after receiving too many mean or mischievous there was one interaction what a baby okay i'm not gonna ask you on a date again hmm. your loss boy your loss um this is a cute guitar it's purple and green oh <gasps> that's beautiful oh, of course we're gonna be embarrassed that was supposed to be a joke interaction he's so rude okay we're changing outfits again we do that a lot apparently maybe we can ask Jokun to hang out with us somewhere yeah i think that's a good idea let's get Jokun. let's invite him over to our current lot maybe we can still check out this little lounge i mean there's not much going on here <gasps> you can do the dress up thing over here oh no call to wear swimwear who are you gonna call to wear swimwear Hey, buddy. Is, is she gonna ask Jokun to wear his swimwear? Like, I know we're friends, but I'd still like to see you naked, you know? <laughs> not not all the way. Oh my god, everybody's getting into their swimwear. What's happening? Hey, jo okay, Jokun, I'm not a fan of that, honestly. <laughs> so, everybody's in the swimwear. That's beautiful. I'm Jokun. Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's a little bit weird. Okay, let's go to media. Not sure what the freak that name was just there. I'm sorry if that seemed disrespectful in any way <laughs> this world if i'm not mistaken is mexican inspired right i just want to make sure on that is this a mexican inspired world if it is i'm very freaking happy so we have a little hut over here oh this is kind of cute i love this like i don't know why it's so intriguing but it is freaking intriguing this is a little play park this is so cute um this is adorable it's a little heart-shaped place you can sit and chill and eat and whatever oh uh, here's bathrooms so cute um what's down here <gasps> Ooh, it's a bar holy dang isn't this supposed to be a park hello you know kids come here now and then um this is this is beautiful oh this is gorgeous <gasps> oh my god hi um let's 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 chat let's go here together let's meet this sad little bear oh my god the ring bear i have seen this guy on people's let's plays before um how are you doing bear ask about ask about the bear costume maybe I, I would like to know if i can help him with anything maybe cheer him up 
Hey. Well, I'm saying him because I can hear a male voice through there. Are you going joke on Okay, enjoy. No. Oh my god, I really want to take a photo of this guy's poor face. Oh my god, he's so cute. So cute and super sad. Um, let's give him a pity hug. Oh. Are you talking to some person behind me dressed in a bear costume? Because I'm not dressed as a bear, I'm a bear. Okay, sorry, furry. Can I ask about your sadness? You know, I would give him the name. Not a care bear, but a heartbroken bear, maybe? Sad bear? I mean, he's called the ring bear. Like, that doesn't make any sense to many people, does it now? But okay, lots of reasons, friend. The main reason is I've lost my ring. Oh, that's why you're called the ring bear. I'm so freaking stupid. Well, I sort of threw it in the nearby pond. I've tried fishing it out, but I'm terrible at fishing. That was always her thing. Oh, okay. If you are able to fish it out, let me know. That ring has some kind of special romantic magic about it. I can tell you more later. What pond? Bro, there's a lot of ponds. And if you say nearby, that can be any pond close to where you are currently, which is over here. So is there actually a pond here somewhere? I know I'm making this about the ring bear now and not about Bowie, but you know, this is a let's play. We do different shit now and then. This pond is heart shaped and we cannot fucking fish. Oh wait, we can fish. Wait, where's Joquin? Maybe we can fish together. Did Joquin go home yet? No, he didn't. He's still here. Oh, what a friend you are. Friend and a half. Love you for that. All right, so maybe we can actually find this ring you know that would be pretty cool and we haven't eaten yet i'm a little bit concerned oh his name is sammy sammy garcia oh i wonder if his name is the same in everybody saves i don't know pretty sure it is can we maybe chat while we do this fish for a ring seek vacation on being a catch what oh <laughs> Seek validation on being a catch. I'm such an idiot. Oh, we can't really talk while fishing. That's stupid. Did we get the freaking ring yet? I don't know if we're actually gonna find this ring, but I'm gonna make it my mission to help this bear. What? You have been selected for the Seven Wild Dates romance-based reality show. If you choose to participate, you will be tasked with having seven consecutive perfect dates while hidden cameras record your every move. If you complete all dates perfectly, you will be rewarded with a grand prize. Warning, by signing up for this, you consent to being filmed for the next week. Um, sign me up? Although I'm a little bit shy, but sign me the freak up. Wonderful, the hidden cameras are already outside your window. Don't bother looking for them. They are really small. Get dating. Oh, okay. So you just know where I live? Cool. I'm not even there though. But okay, sweetie. You should get home maybe. But okay, let's just, let's see if we can maybe find this, you know. Freaking ring. <sighs> Alrighty. How long is this gonna take? I'm wondering if it'll actually make the bear happy if we find the ring. Like, wouldn't that be cool? Well, we're not looking for fish, but we were looking for a ring. But you know what? That's okay. Jokun, come on. Let's go home. Come on with me. Come on. That was a nice outing. That bear is pretty cool. Kind of spices the game up just a little bit, you know? So usually the game is pretty boring. So apparently our house is installed with small cameras. Hmm. Outside our window. Is there actually a little camera here somewhere? No, I'm being an idiot. This is The Sims. Where in the world will they go through that kind of effort to actually place literally little tiny cameras or something around your windowsills like they wouldn't do that maybe in the future i don't know so are we supposed to just pick our own dates for this i don't know but you know what i think we're gonna check that out in the next part i hope you guys enjoyed this this is exactly where i'm gonna leave this episode with us chilling with Jokun, our friend and taking a lovely shower but all right you guys thank you so much for watching once again if i've already said that i'm sorry but yeah i will see you all in the next one